so-called American Indians, Latinos, and blacks come from a genetically mediocre stock. Yak, yak, yak. Being aware of racial division, Get a job. And I am. have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. It is a big idea, a new world order, a world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. After 1989, President Bush kept said, and it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order. There is a chance for the President of the United States to use this disaster to carry out what his father, a phrase his father used, I think, only once and hasn't been used since, and that is a new world order. So that the problem of the Bush presidency will be the emergence of a new international order. Within the next four years, we will see the emergence of a new international the beginning, order. The beginning of a new international order. The pieces are in flux. Soon they will settle again. Before they do, let us reorder this world around us. I think it's past will be to develop an overall strategy for America in this period when really a new world order can be created. It's a great opportunity and it isn't such a crisis. It's about the future of Europe and a new world order. There's a need for a new world order, but it has different characteristics in different parts of, of the world. But today, with Asia already outproducing Europe, India and China are clearly becoming part of our new order. We are now facing a common challenge. And the challenge is how to build a world order for the first time in history on a global basis. So, in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, a new world is emerging. It is a new world order with significantly different and radically new challenges. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. Good evening, everybody. President Obama and British Prime Minister Gordon today calling for a new world order to tackle our global economic crisis. And the president outlined his vision of a new world order in which the U.S. would participate fully We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. So I see a world order in the future with a multipolar uh, world order. I think the new world order is emerging and with it the foundations of a new and progressive era of international cooperation. But in a globalized economy, we are going to have to take global responsibilities and there going to, is going to have to be some several semblance of global governance. Never before has a new world order had to be assembled from so many different perceptions or on so global a scale. Nor has any previous order had to combine the attributes of the historic balance of power system with global democratic opinion and the exploding technology of the contemporary period. And I strongly believe India will be a central actor in the new world order. There also exists an extraordinary opportunity to form for the first time in history a truly global society. 2009 is also the first year of global governance with the establishment of the G20 in the middle of the financial crisis. The climate conference in Copenhagen is another step towards the 
global management of our planet. New World Order is the headline in the Globe and Mail in Canada. Is this global governance at last? Is it one world, the central bankers in charge? But aren't we all just living and dying for what the central banks do? Of course we are. We are absolutely slaves to central banks. It's because some of these people, there will be... This is a new normal. They're never going to go back home. So they want to help them as much so that they're never just walking out of here and feeling like they're going back onto the street. They've worked with them throughout the process here to help them adjust to this new world order that they are, they're going to be living in after this.